a sum of rupees seventeen thousand two hundred is lent out at simple interest in two parts for two years at eight percentage and ten percentage per annum respectively. If the total interest received after two years is rupees three thousand eight, then money lent at eight percentage rate is. Here you can solve this question in two methods. First one is allocation method. Simple interest received in two years is three thousand eight. Now in one year half of this, half of three thousand is fifteen hundred, half of eight is four. So this fifteen hundred four is received from this eight percentage of the sum and ten percentage of the sum. That is this eight percentage of seventeen thousand two hundred. In ten percentage of seventeen thousand two hundred constitute this fifteen hundred four. Ten percentage of sum is seventeen twenty, and one percentage is one seventy two. So eight percentage is equal to eight into one seventy two, which is equal to eight into two sixteen. Eight into seven fifty six plus one fifty seven. Eight into one plus five thirteen. So eight percentage of sum is thirteen seventy six. Now use the allocation method. Difference between seventeen twenty and fifteen not four is equal to seventeen twenty minus fifteen hundred is equal to two twenty two twenty minus four is equal to two sixteen. Now take the difference between thirteen seventy six and fifteen not four. Here fourteen minus six is equal to eight. Nine minus seven is equal to two. Fourteen minus thirteen is equal to one. So here two sixteen part plus one twenty eight part is equal to eight plus six fourteen. Two plus two four, one plus two three. So this three forty four part is equal to total sum seventeen thousand two hundred. One seventy two goes two times in three forty four. So two part is equal to hundred. So we have to find out what is two sixteen part. That is sum lent at eight percent each is equal to two sixteen part. So here two part is hundred means. If you take half of two sixteen, which is one not eight, so two sixteen part is equal to one not eight into hundred. That is ten thousand eight hundred. Option four is your answer. That is just multiply two sixteen with fifteen.